guys, welcome back to week three of my vlog for Broadway.com. I'm representing our show, Disaster. It's Jennifer Samard, aka Sister Mary Downey, and this week I would like to take a trip down memory lane, some time travel, if you will. I would like to ask my castmates if they could go back to the era that our show was set in, in the 70s, specifically our show was set in 1979, but let's take the whole decade of the 70s. If they could go back in time and meet one of their idols, who would it be? And maybe they could still meet them, because that wasn't that long ago. And I'll go first. I'm ch I had so many idols, it was very hard to narrow this down, but I'm specifically choosing this one because this person, unbeknownst to them, through their art, helped get me through a two-show day last week when I had food poisoning. Any sort of motivational tool to get through because my body was not here, essentially. <laughs> I, I disassociated. Uh, it was, it was, bye Jen, good luck, I'll see you tomorrow. It was, I should not have been able to get through the show. It was terrible. So I um, would like to thank Sylvester Stallone for uh, creating Rocky, and that came out in 1976, and Rocky II, come to think of it, was released in 79, the same year as our show, Disaster. That, that's my choice because um, I felt, I was like, it was like round, like, there was a time during Act 1 where I was like, it's round 14, I'm on the mat, and my inner Mickey was like, stay down, Jen, stay down, I, I can't see out of my eye, you gotta cut me, I, I'm climbing the ropes, and you know, and, and then you have to let stage management know that you're okay, it was sort of like telling the referee, you know, seven, eight, I'm okay, I'm okay, and meanwhile you're not okay at all, but you have to spend energy so I'm fine. I can do it. Just, I did it. So, thank you, Sylvester Stallone. Why didn't you come see Disaster? I'll get the whole family tickets. I'll totally buy you tickets. Whole family. Um, so I cannot wait to ask my castmates who their pick would be. Uh, so we'll see what they say. Okay, bye. So Maggie, I'm going to hazard a guess that you were not alive in the 70s. No. That makes two of us. There's so much in common. Um, <laughs> what's so funny? I mean... So, Maggie, I would like to know, uh, who would you like to have met who was really, really famous in the 70s? They're probably still with us. You could maybe still meet them. Uh, but I would like to know, you know, who was at, like, the peak of their fame, that if you could go back in time in our little time machine, mm -hmm. who would it be and why? I am a huge Barbra Streisand fan. All right, ensemble, fan. first mezzanine, please. Ensemble, first mezzanine. Oh, no. Okay, really quick. Okay, go. really quick, because i got to go to rehearsal. Um, I love Barbra Streisand. What's Up, Doc is, like, the oh, funniest oh, movie oh. ever. That was in the 70s. Um, and we actually have, I put up a bunch of records in our dressing room as, like, decoration that I stole from my husband, because he has a huge collection. And we have, like, her Superman um, record, where she's wearing, like, the little Superman, like, T-shirt and, like booty shorts and she's just hilarious and like the biggest like triple threat like comedian actress singer like I just want to be her and I want to meet her so come see disaster Babs so Kevin who from the 1970s if you could time travel back in time would you love to have met and why I would have loved to have met Doug Hennig Wow. He was a very famous 70s magician. And he did a Broadway show called The Magic Show. And he had a variety of specials, and he was always on the Sonny and Cher show. And I just thought he was the coolest thing when I was a kid, from his rainbow suspenders to his kind of hippy dippy attitude. Um, and he was a good musician, a magician, and a musician. <laughs> he sang, too. Excellent uh, answer, excellent answer. I was born in the 80s, so I don't know who that is. Sorry. Look him up. I hope, hopefully, they'll insert a picture of him during this uh, yeah. diatribe. <laughs> okay, so I saw the movie Cabaret in the mid 70s. Now, this is before like Betamax is like, I saw it a uh, time when I was in second grade. So I became obsessed with Liza Minnelli and I used to try to recreate my hair in my den. The only thing I could remember is that she sat in a chair backwards, like the chair was backwards. So I'd always like begin that way and then I was out. But I was always like, I'm gonna do my hair. Bye, bye, didn't know what else to do. But I was obsessed with that moment. So constantly recreating my hair. Then I got sick and I listened to my cabaret album the whole week. 
I think I was eight years old, and I kept fantasizing my mom would write a letter to Liza Minnelli saying that the only thing that got my little boy well was listening, you know, to, to your rendition of Maybe This Time. So I kept thinking she'd write it to Liza, and then Liza would be so moved that she would show up at her house unannounced because she got the letter, and then instead of being like, I'm sick, I actually had the piano music, so I'd be like, sing! Um, ba -ba, um, ba -ba, um, ba -ba, ba -ba. Anyway, it never happened, but I was fantasizing about it nonstop. Would you like to invite her to disaster? Yeah, you, yes! Liza, if you're listening, please come, just brush this forward, signature brush, and then come see disaster. Yay! We're doing a little time travel in my time machine since our show is set in the 70s, 1979. Oh my God, I get to time travel. You get to time travel. Okay. I would like to know if you could go back to the 70s. I know exactly what I'd do. Okay. I would find my childhood self in the 70s and I would yes. say, Stop trying to have bangs. You have a Jufro, you need to embrace it, and if anything, just cut it off. Just cut off your hair, because what I would do is, I would try to blow dry it straight, because I wanted to have hair like over my eye, and, mm -hmm. and, and then it was just like, like this, this big poof right here. Mm -hmm. So I would say, just cut your hair off, and you're gonna save yourself so much aggravation. So you'd like to meet yourself, essentially. Hi Jack, how do you do? Very well, thank Good. you. Stop trying to have bangs. Right. Okay. Right. Hey Max, did everything come out okay? Yep. Okay. Oh, we're back. Let's go quick. Okay. In the, if you could time travel back to the '70s, who would you like to have met? Uh, I would have liked to met Scooby Doo. I know that was like his heyday. It was like when he was like really going strong and like first coming out and uh, probably just pick his brain about a couple stuff from one dog to another, you know. Jacqueline Smith. Oh, <gasps> Kelly Garrett. Yes. Oh my God, because she's pretty and smart. And yeah. I was like, I want to be that. I want to be both pretty smart. And she could do that. Yeah, yeah. Well, and you, be her. the good news is, you are both those things, oh. my dear. If you could go back to the 70s, what person would you love to have met if you could? And perhaps you still can. I don't know who they are. Um, I would probably, it would be a toss-up between Paul Stanley and Gene Simmons. Oh. I, was, I was the hugest Kiss fan. And uh, the 70s were really the heyday for Kiss. They were everything. They were the coolest guys. They were mysterious. They were magical. Um, and I would have loved to have gotten the opportunity to, uh, to have met them. And you said it's a toss-up? and but to, Well, yeah, because I, I, I used, every Halloween I would either dress up like Paul Stanley or Gene Simmons. And okay. so I, I loved both of them equally. So, oh, I um, love that. Well, I will have to look those names up because I was born in 2007. <laughs> so You're making me feel so old. Hello, I'm with the beautiful Carrie Butler who plays Marianne. Hello. Well, this is going to be a hard question from me to you since... And we not we were we're both sixteen we're both sixteen years old so mm -hmm. we don't really seventies I'm not know I know it's a it's a conundrum like. I had it's to do a lot of research for this part so I would like to know if we could go back in time uh, in time traveling that is if you could meet anyone from the seventies who would it be and why um, Ricky Schroeder oh because I just thought he was so cute with that bowl haircut. Silver mm -hmm. Spoons. Mm -hmm. Do you remember the theme song? Here we are, face to face, a couple of silver spoons. <laughs> Do I remember? <laughs> no. Come on. So we're going to invite Ricky Schroeder to see Disaster. Hope you can make it. <laughs> Thanks, Gary. I'm here with Rachel York. Hi. And this is going to be hard to answer since we're both 18 years old, but if you could go back to the <laughs> 70s, I know you don't know that era very well, um, who would you love to have met and why? I loved watching the Donnie and Marie show yes. when I was a kid. In fact, me and my sister, we had the Rachel and Mary show. <laughs> so I would have loved to have met Donnie and Marie. They would have been my Do you remember their song? I'm a little bit country. I'm a little, and paper roses. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Well, do, how, invite them to disaster. Come on, Donnie and Marie. We'd love to see Yay. you. Okay, so I'm signing off from a hotel room because tomorrow morning, my cast, the cast of Disaster on Broadway, is performing on the Today Show. How exciting! So by the time you guys see this, we will have already performed, and I'm sure you can YouTube it, check it out. We're gonna have a lot of fun. Full disclosure, you guys, since we're all talking about who we were fans of, uh, I was indeed a card-carrying member of the Sylvester Stallone fan club. And I remember as a kid, it said on my card, if I met the president of the club, Tony Monafo, M-U-N-A-F-O, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing his name right, and I think he might've passed away a year ago, so to his family I send heartfelt condolences. But I remember as a kid it said, if I met Tony, that Tony would try to set up a meeting with Sylvester Stallone. So I used to walk around my farm town in Litchfield, New Hampshire, thinking, I bet Tony, is at the country store 
today. So I, and I'd go, and of course, Tony, no Tony, maybe tomorrow. So it never happened. Uh, so that, it could still, which, which is weird, because I wasn't born until 2010. So, yeah, like I said, I'm a time traveler. Wibbly wobbly, timey wimey. It could happen. You never know. Come see Disaster. All those people that my castmates said that they loved you as kids, come see Disaster. Everyone would lose their minds. We would freak out. In a good way, not in a creepy fandom way. In like a, hey, hey, we're on Broadway. We made it and you guys actually helped get us here because I'm going to cry because we dreamt. Like we saw you and we're like, maybe I could do something like that. I'm totally crying. I cannot believe I'm crying. But it's true. You know, it, you, you affect people's lives. So thank you and uh, tune in next week for my vlog uh, for week four. Bye.